Uranus Jupiter in 1979, then Saturn two years later, Uranus in 1986, and finally Neptune, the Blue Giant, all part of Voyager 2's 12-year grand tour of the outer planets. Having traveled over four billion miles through the solar system, the spacecraft trained its aging cameras and electronic sensors on the mysterious blue planet, revealing an unexpectedly turbulent world of violent storms and backpedaling winds up to 700 miles per hour. Of particular interest were the swirling energetic dark spots, according to project scientist Dr. Ed Stone. We believe that these large spots uh, are, in fact, huge hurricane-like storm systems. When you have opposing jet streams, uh, they uh, tend to generate vortices, or small storms. And those small storms collide with each other and accumulate to make one large storm. Voyager 2 also found six new moons around Neptune and produced imagery of the planet's three rings, believed to be debris left from collisions between larger objects. After passing just 3,000 miles over its cloud tops, Voyager turned its attention to Neptune's largest moon, Triton. A five-mile tall geyser shooting dark particles into its atmosphere was just one of the surprises Triton had to offer. Here was a moon which is in a retrograde orbit, that is, it's orbiting backwards around Neptune compared to the way Neptune is rotating. On top of that, there was methane ice, frozen natural gas on its surface, and probably frozen nitrogen on its surface. We had never seen a moon with those ices on their surface. Uh, it is the coldest object we have seen in the solar system, almost 400 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. Voyager's accomplishments are even more impressive considering that it was originally supposed to visit only Jupiter and Saturn. Uranus and Neptune were added bonuses achievable because of the spacecraft's remarkable performance. Huge antennas on the ground had to be made even larger to receive its signals, which by the time it rendezvoused with Neptune took over four hours to reach Earth. And the transmitter on the spacecraft used to send back those signals is only about as powerful as the light bulb in a refrigerator. Like its sister ship Voyager 1, Voyager 2 is now bound for the edges of the solar system. Other spacecraft, such as Galileo, scheduled for a return to Jupiter, and Cassini, which will revisit Saturn, are slated to make even more detailed studies of the planets. But Voyager's legacy of discovery can never be duplicated. Voyager will be regarded as the quintessential mission of exploration. There has been no other mission which has explored so many new worlds, and there can be no other mission which will do that in the future. Only Voyager has had the opportunity of visiting in sequence four giant planets with literally dozens of new worlds in orbit around.